Hello guys, today's video is all about what I got this month in my Ipsy subscription. I'm somewhat new to Ipsy, but I love it. Uh, I've been doing it for maybe like four or five months now, and so far I've used mostly everything they have sent me, and I really am enjoying it. So this is May's Ipsy bag for me. Okay, first let's start off with this cute makeup bag. It's like an off yellow color and really cute. I love the vintage type stamping on it also. On the back is this really pretty like oranges, orangish color and the inside as well. I haven't been liking the makeup bags that I've gotten lately, but this one is really pretty. This is the Amazonian, I think is how you say that, clay powder, the finishing powder. Hopefully I said that right. Um, I actually really liked this powder. It took away like my shiny spots and wasn't too cakey. I use it very lightly and just kind of dust it over my makeup. Most in just like the shiny um, or like the oily places. So far that's how I use it and it's the first time I've ever actually used a finishing powder and I'm really really hooked I think. Next up was this lavender moisturizer. All of the moisturizers and lotions that I've received from Ipsy have been great and smell amazing. This one, not so much. I didn't really care for the scent, but you might if you like the scent of lavender, which I have lavender like essential, essential oils and stuff, and I don't mind those, but this one for some reason, uh, just didn't set with me right. This moisturizer has like a green tint color to help like reduce redness on your skin. I didn't use it on my face even though I do have redness issues. I just couldn't do it. I did use it on my hands to kind of try it a couple of times but otherwise I haven't used it since. Um, I do want to use it though if like just for my redness on my face and I might try it again later on down the road. It has lots of wonderful ingredients like vitamin E and shea butter and cucumber peel and aloe vera juice and a whole bunch more. I just wish it didn't have that lavender scent, which is weird because like I said, I, I use lavender essential oil constantly, so I don't know. Okay, on to the next one. This is the Pop Goes the Shadow Eyeshadow in Goldly. I was a little surprised by this color. It seemed a little flashy and I don't like to wear the shimmery stuff like that, but after I wore it a couple days and blended it with some other colors, I ended up liking it. I actually got a shadow from uh, Mott a few months ago that I love called Toasted, which is a little smaller than the goldy color. I really like both of them and they wear really, really well all day. Got a little tube of this hair and scalp mask. I always love getting products like this to try. Unfortunately, I haven't tried this one yet, but very excited to do so. It is by Neon and & Company and has received a lot of good reviews. It has a pleasant smell and is kind of creamy. Um, I will be trying this soon. Okay, this was another product that kind of caught me by surprise a little bit. It's a liquid lipstick in Nude Berry by Ofra or Ofra Cosmetics. I'm really bad with company names and things. But anyway, the first time I saw it, I said, nope, I don't like it. That is way too dark for me. Um, I only wear like pinks and light browns and stuff like that. So I finally got around to trying it and it is dark but I paired it with this amazing lip gloss in Nude Beach, and now it's totally doable. This gloss is my favorite, and I wear it a lot. It's really light feeling and not too glossy, but just enough. Um, I got it actually in my glam bag last month, and I've been totally hooked on it since. Um, so I've just been pairing them both together, and they've been doing fine. I don't, I don't, I try to put it on as light as I can, but, um, it's okay, you know, every now and then it's okay. Um, it's just too dark for me. It does last a long time though and has like vitamin E in it. I really like liquid lipstick, so maybe the next one will be just right. Okay guys, that is it for what came in my May Glam bag. I love most of the products I got and I still need to try that mask. 
Tell me in the comments below if you have ever tried any of these or even would want to try them and also what you think of them. Also click that subscribe button and hit like if you want to see more of these type of videos and thanks for watching.